Good morning, my Word Nerds! Hello, hello, hello! How are you? Welcome to the Marvelous Monday edition of Word of the Day. I added an extra hashtag today. We'll see if the hearts give us anything special. Sometimes the hearts give us something special. I did use hashtag love, so we'll still have the rainbow hearts, but I added hashtag 4th of July just to see what would happen. So, hey, hey, Smartbone and Deborah, and I just saw somebody else hop in there. Who was that? I can't see who else is in there. Uh, 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 no, nothing's working this morning. So I'm just going to say hi. Thank you for being here, whoever you are. Six of you now. Wow, Darcy's here too. Hello. Good morning. I'm so glad you're all here. Seven now. Wow, this is going to be a really like crowded broadcast. But thank you so much, you guys, for being here. Real quick introduction. My name is Christine. I am a member of the Perry Girls. And each and every weekday morning, I bring you a new and amazing word of the day for you to add to your vocabulary so that you can sound smarticles. Good morning, John Recruits CPAs. Are you John Roberts? I just saw that you followed me. Thank you so much for that. So today we have a fun word for you. Today's word of the day is puffery. Now, puffery is not the definition of what my hair is doing today. Although it is rather large on my head today, that is not what puffery is. So puffery is spelled P-U-F-F-E-R-Y, puffery. And puffery means undue or exaggerated praise. So when you hear people kind of going like over the top proud of someone or over the top praising someone, like way over the top, it's undue, it's exaggerated, it's way over the top, that's puffery. And it doesn't just necessarily mean doing puffery to oneself. Like I could sit here and be like, you know, here's all the great things that I do and totally exaggerate my own calling, right? Or I could go, totally go over the top about my kids. I think parents are entitled to a little puffery. As a mother of four, let me just put it out there that I think we're entitled to a little puffery. We've been through a lot of pain and suffering. Our kids drive us absolutely insane, constantly, right? Thank you. Deborah agrees with me. Children drive us insane. That's their job. Okay, I get it. But I think we're entitled to a little puffery as like... A, a way of saying the universe saying thank you for bringing your kids into the world thank you for creating the next generation of human beings right so we get to be we get to you know do a little puffery so again puffery is undue or exaggerated praise as an example i love my niece i only have one niece on my on my biological side i have nieces on my husband's side as well but my brother has one little girl total doll I love her to death. And she's very, very bright. Very, very bright. Very, very bright little girl. But when she was like three years old, my brother goes, hey, guess what? She can spell her name. And so she would spell her name. And then she would do it backwards, right? And my brother's just going on and on and on about how she's going to be so smart and she's going to like do this, that, and the other thing. Total puffery. Like total exaggerated praise, okay? She could spell her name forward and backwards. And that was pretty cool at three years old. But my son could spell his name too. Of course, his name is two letters, but he could do it forward and backwards, <laughs> even though it's only two letters. But for her, to, I mean, it was it's a, it's a six letter name, okay? I get it, it was really cool that she could do it forwards and backwards. But for my brother to be like going on and on and on about how she was gonna be so brilliant, that's where the puffery kind of came into play. So it's okay for parents, I'm gonna open my door because it's very warm in my car right now. It's okay for parents to exaggerate a bit, right, and get into the puffery. We have politicians who practice puffery on a daily basis. Love them or hate them, this is what they do, right? They talk about their states. They talk about the laws that they pass. They talk about the things they're going to do for us. That's what they do. And that's puffery. So it kind of comes from the animal kingdom, you know, when the gorillas like get all puffy or certain birds get all puffy in order to scare people away. That's where this word comes from. So again, puffery, P-U-F-F-E-R-Y. It means undo or exaggerated praise. So that is your word of the day for Monday, July 3rd. Use it, don't abuse it. Be good to yourselves. Be good to one another. Know that I love you all. And I'll see you back here tomorrow on the 4th of July, Independence Day in the United States of America for another amazing, terrific Tuesday edition of Word of the Day. Until then, be good. Mwah. Bye now. Oh, now I can't get it to stop. What a great one day I'm having. <laughs> Bye.